Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Rump's Cards. And today, I finally have the product. Technically, I'm still waiting for the one that I ordered from Panini, but I went to my local LCS, and I was able to get 2023 Prism. Now, last year, this product, when it first came out, was like a thousand bucks. Super stupid expensive. This time, I got it for $289, under $300, which is acceptable. This is what I wish Prism was in football, basketball, all that, but we know that's not the case. And yeah, I'm really excited about this product, because like I said, my secret crush for cards is WWE. I love WD WWE and all that. And... Just a FYI for anybody that watches the channel, Rips WWE. If you guys get the parallels of this, I am looking. I am looking to complete the rainbow because obviously I pulled the one out of one out of one when I was still in Connecticut or when I was still in California at Honey Hole Collectibles on a loose pack. Just a everybody got three packs and I was able to pull that. So. Hopefully we pull some magic out of this bad boy. Now, if you want to see everything you could get, let's check out Cardboard Connection while I rip this. All right, here we are at Cardboard Connection. And you could, as you could see, 2023 WWE Prism. You can look for the Mojo Prisms, the Gold Prisms, the Black. Those are the 25, 10, and 1. There's a new series called Undercard, and I believe Undercard is basically like the H2 version of Prism. And I believe they look like that with the little circles. But as you can see, there are a ton, a ton of parallels you could hit, all the way down to the black prisms. Now, obviously, I don't have any first off the line, so I'm not going to go for any of these parallels. But I am going to go for the Legends of the Hall of Mick Foley, as I said earlier in the video. And these are the short prints, the color bursts. They also have the throwback design from the 2012, I believe. Get dual signatures. So yeah, two autographs, 22 prisms. I think I got, you get about 10 numbered cards which isn't that bad. And if you go to the undercard, you get one base variation, one auto, which I might rip one of those. I'm not sure, because I'm in the hunt for something. But as you can see, half the base is horizontal, and then half the base is vertical. That's one thing I'm not a fan of. I wish they were all vertical, but you can get what you can get. And those are the variations that you could get in the undercard. And as you can see, it is loaded with signatures, people you could get, superstar autos. So there's at least 150 autos you could get in this. The color blasts, those are the ones that are the case hits. Legends of the Hall, this is why I'm trying to complete the parallel because there's only a green silver undercard, green pulsar, mojo, gold, and then the black. And I own the black one. But yeah, this is everything you get, so let's get back to the video. All right, seal's broken. We're looking for the throwback signatures. We're looking for the color blast. That's the case hit. Two autos, 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Same thing, same thing. And if you want to see everything you could hit, there it is. So yeah, I actually have a chase for this product instead of ripping it for fun. I'm looking for that Mick Foley set to uh, complete the rainbow. So like I said, if you guys have any extra and are willing to part, I'm willing to look for So let's get this back here. 
I have no idea who Redemptions are, so let's get right into it. Pack number one. And I believe it's set up where the first eight cards are your base. Then you get your parallel or, and your silver or your parallels or your auto. And then the last two cards are going to be base. And a normal 55-point holder should hold everything. So you got Mustafa Ali to start things off. Mansoor, Wendy Chu, Dewdrop, who was, I believe, went back to Piper Niven. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm miss. I was thinking of football. But yeah, that's what the back looks like. So we got Joe Gacy. On the red wave, red waves are not numbered. Rhea Ripley on the red, there we go. Your brand new SmackDown Women's out of $2.99. Yep, your brand new SmackDown Women's Champion. And that match was awesome at WrestleMania. One of the best matches of the night. So yeah, are any of you guys going to rip this stuff? Obviously now I got two boxes coming because I couldn't wait for Panini. It is in the mail, so I should be getting it within the next day or two, hopefully. So and then we got a silver Alexa Bliss. Nice. I hope I can pull her auto. And yes, one of my other favorite superstars, Bray Wyatt, has a card and an auto in here. So, we got Cruz Del Toro, Otis, Kit Wilson, Humberto, and Rip Fowler. So yeah, that's your base pack. Your hits are going to be in the middle. Everything else is base. So there we go. Noam Dar, Kevin Owens, the new tag team champion, Grayson Waller. He's also a guy I'm looking for. Ariana Grace, rookie card. Wesley. And we got a blue wave of Zoe Stark. She did really well in the Royal Rumble. And the blue waves are one per box, I believe, and they are not numbered. And then we got Wendy Chu. Orange, and I believe these are $2.99. So, so far, could be better, could be worse. Nothing super fancy yet. But we're only two packs in, so top tier Randy Orton, Thay Hill of the U, Apollo Crews, EL Sky, and good old Eddie Guerrero. Looks like we got Shayna Baszler on the back. So yeah, if you guys been following WWE, I still like where the bloodline's headed. Duke Hudson, Scott Steiner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Some of these images are really cool. Josh Briggs. We got a red prism of Johnny Gargano. And we got a silver of Chad Gable. I'm sorry, a red wave of Johnny Gargano. Up and comer, I believe he went back down to NXT. So yeah, these are the ones I'm looking for for Mick Foley. Legends of the Hall, Rowdy Piper. And we got 
Kanan Carter, Goldberg, Tony D'Angelo, Oscar, she's my favorite female, and Shayna Blazler. Too bad she got screwed at WrestleMania. I think she should have won it, but that's just me. That's because I like Oscar. And when I opened last year's product, I got a Oscar Auto out of 99. So I'm hoping the same magic again, but we'll see. So we got Emma, who just came back. I believe that's her first card. Edge, Brett the Hitman Hart, Bulldog and Diesel. Sola Sokoa, member of the Bloodline. We got a Hyper of Zelina Vega and a Red of Sonia Deville. So, so far this is looking like a average Panini box out of 299, yep, 90 out of 299. Like I said, nothing too fancy yet, but we'll see. And I got this box from Honey Hole Col or uh, Diamond King Sports Cards in Greenland, New Hampshire. So we got Steve Austin. I don't know if he has an auto in here or not, but that'd be cool. Chad Gable, Ron Breaker, who I believe just had a heel turn. AJ Styles, who I wish would come back soon. Trick Williams and Axiom. So yeah. No, I hope uh, the person that dethrones Roman Reigns is Jay Uso. That's my pick. We'll see how it goes though. Ulyssa Leon, I'm guessing NXT. Yep. Cora Jade, that's another up and coming one that people like. Rick Boggs, Boogs, Boobs. Malik Blaine. Luke Gallows. And we got an orange rookie. Of Shannon Stacks Lorenzo. Now right, we'll finish this off before we go back. Austin Theory on the top tier. See, Bray Wyatt, like I said, that's one of my PC guys. Would love to pull an auto of him. Eliza Alexander, Undertaker, and Akira Tozawa. So the Lorenzo is number eight of 99. Like I said, this is my guilty pleasure product. So we got Edry's. Anofe, I'm guessing NXT, yep. Purple out of 149. So, so far nothing too crazy. We're getting the right people on the wrong parallels. Let's just put it that way. So we have Top Dollar. Rookie card, Roddy Roddy Piper, Giovanni Vinci, Shotzi, AJ Styles Silver, Prismatic Entrances Undertaker, that's a cool looking card. And then we got Johnny Gargano again. Ricky the Steamboat Dragon. That's awesome. Tatum Paxley. I think that's the one everybody's looking for. I'm not sure. Nathan Frazier and Drew McIntyre with his sword. And then the red wave behind Shotzi was Tommaso Ciampa, who I hope comes back soon. He was always fun. His matches between him and Joey Gargano were some of the best I saw in the last couple of years, so wish him the best. Whoops. Didn't need to top load that. So 
So, so far, no autos. Hopefully, he pulls something good. Because the box is looking a little rough. So, we got Zelina Vega, Liv Morgan, Ilja Dragunov, Roman Reigns, Ashante. Adonis, we got Emma on the silver, Natalia on the top tier, Braun Strowman, Mark Coffey, JD McDonough, Terry Funk. All right, and let's see what the auto is. Hopefully it's something good. All right, so we got BYW, SmackDown, number to 25, nice little parallel. Bray Wyatt. Did you guys miss me? Oh. <laughs> Whew. That, I'm definitely keeping that in the PC. That, yeah. That is my favorite superstar from the Wyatt family to the Fiend. That, oh man. That, that made my day. So glad I decided to take this box. Oh man. That definitely... Made my day. My favorite superstar. My first ever auto of Bray Wyatt. I have plenty of Asuka and Rhea Ripley. Santos Escobar and Natalia. Mia Yum, who came back. The Miz. And we got Chad Gable on the red prism. Or the red wave, sorry. And we got Bomb Braun Breaker on the silver. Kane Legends of the Hall. LA Knight. Bubba Ray. Randy Orton. Lacey Evans. And Indy Hartwell. I'm still stoked I got that Bray Wyatt auto. It definitely made my week off worth it. Now, I'm not expecting much for my second auto, but we'll see. So we got Carmella, Andre Chase, Jager Reed, Baron Corbin. That's cool with the Titan Tron in the back. Tommaso Ciampa, and it looks like we have our next auto. So we'll save this one. We got another Tommaso Ciampa on the silver. Asuka on the top tier. Dominique Mysterio, who's playing an awesome heel right now. Just Mr. T, Sonya Deville, and Finn Balor. Yeah, Dominique Mysterio's portray, especially with Rey Mysterio on the Judgment Day versus him. That's also one of the better storylines going on right now. Took a while to get there, but now that it's gotten there, it's kind of picked up. And it was nice seeing the demon Finn Balor back. So we got Fallon, Henley, Shawn Michaels, Aaliyah, Wolfgang, Becky Lynch, and it looks like we have a Hyper, sorry, all the stacks, and our Hyper, Roman Reigns, let's go, and we got a silver of Baron Cor Corbin, if you don't know, the Hyper is that, Baron Corbin on the silver. King Ring Royalty, Wade Barrett. 
Sol Ruka, rookie. Dexter Loomis, Big E. Hope he gets better. Mad Cat Moss. If you haven't seen, got his neck broken by Ridge Holland, I believe, on a suplex outside. So it looks like he's back up walking, talking. I know it happened a while, but it looks like he's in on the better side of things for a broken neck. So we got two packs left plus the auto. Haven't had much good for parallels except for the Bray Wyatt auto. So let's see. Matt Riddle, who just recently came back. Gable Stevensons, who I've not seen at all. Sheamus. Omas. Red Wave of Dante Chen. And what do we got here? A red Dante Chen. Out of two ninety nine, that's the red. And then Sandman, one of my favorites. And if you didn't see my immaculate video, I pulled an autograph of him. That made my day. Elias, Andre the Giant, Sanga, Robert Rude. And Boa. All right, last pack magic. Let's see what we could get. All right, we got Kofi Kingston, Yokozuna, Candice LeRae, Butch, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Top tier, Drew McIntyre, Valhalla, JC Jane, Quincy Elliott, Ultimate Warrior. Our parallels, we have a Mojo, or I'm sorry, a Hyper of Eric. And we have a purple, Chad Gable. So I think I almost got the rainbow just in this box of all the high number ones for Chad Gable. Or no numbered. And then the Hyper of Eric. Part of the Viking Raiders with Valhalla. All right, and let's see what the auto is. Our last card. For people that stayed this long, thank you for watching. I say it. S. The legend, S A -S, S H S, out of forty nine. Stan Hansen. Actually, I've never heard of him, and he didn't keep it all on the sticker. But a WWE legend, nonetheless. That's cool. So yeah, let's see all of our hits. As you can see, I got a ton of base cards. That's one downfall with Prism. But when you hit with Prism, you hit. And as you can see, all of our, how much is it supposed to be, 20 parallels? Those are all non-numbered silvers or hypers. So we got Chad Gable, 10 of 149. We got Dante Chen, 76 of 299. We got Idris Enofe, 63 of 149. We got Sh Shanning Stacks Lorenzo, rookie card, out of 99. 
8 of 99. Sonia Deville, 90 of 2.99. Wendy Chu, orange, 13 of 99. Rhea Ripley, 165 of 2.99. Stan Hansen, blue, 38 of 49. And the big boy right here, the Bray Wyatt Mojo. Definitely one of my favorites of all all time. So 19 of 25. So yeah. Most of the box was disappointing, but this definitely made it for me. So once again, if you guys by chance rip this and you get any of these, like the gold, the green pulsar, the silver, the mojo, any parallels of these, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. I should have another one coming soon of Prism, so hopefully we hit some bangers there. And I will see you guys on the next video. Just follow the buzzards.